please be reminded that we are meeting with non-instructional at 12.30. They call this the home of the bears. Not the lovable stuff type, more like these animated cubs performing some sort of sign language. These bear essentials are important for our lives, especially in the future. Look closer and see if you can make out some letters. We have this little saying, you know, of bears. So the B-E, the A and the R, so we have you know, be your best, everyone's safe, active learners, and be respectful and responsible. Veteran teacher Brian Hunt says these qualities don't just conveniently spell out the word bear, they also embody another name. When this school was built, we decided to name it after a veteran. That was quite a challenge because they had not done that before. And they chose Hammond L. Bowen. This coin is a great remembrance of uh, the special day that we dedicated Hammett Bowen Junior Elementary School. Maury and Hammett were friends together through college before Hammett left to fight in the Vietnam War. He was a leader and so he challenged everybody to, you know, to pitch in and work together. They both went to Ocala High School with the Beck. Holler across the field at each other when we were up on A and B wings of the high school. <laughs> she later married Hammett's brother, Keith. It was fun. Keith was taller than Hammett Jr. There wasn't much difference between the boys. They were 18 months apart in age. Dee Bowen is one of the last surviving members of the family living in Ocala. Say you're out in public and somebody says, oh, I know who you are. You're Hammett's sister-in-law. There's that pain. Staff Sergeant Hammett Bowen Jr. was killed in Vietnam when he was just 21. Over the years, schools, roads, and monuments were named after him in honor of his sacrifice. In a combat area, and, and were engaged in a firefight, and uh, they were outnumbered. June 27, 1969. Next thing they know, a hand grenade landed right in the middle of where they were at. Pulled back as Hamas shouted to his fellow soldiers before he threw himself into that grenade. <laughs> the rest of his troops, you know, as long as they lived. It torments those who survive. I had to think about, uh, he cared about them that much. Just as family members bear the emptiness. There was always a place set for him at Junior at the table on the holidays. Which was then filled with love and recognition. Hammett Jr. would do it all over again. The courage of this young American hero earned him the nation's highest decoration for military, the Medal of Honor. Freedom is not free. Although Hammett never returned from that split-second decision to give up his life for his country, he did blaze a trail for generations of patriots. It's so important that we stop and reflect as we see these monuments. Even for me, my son. Ocala's Veterans Memorial Park has been a frequent stop since Maury retired as chief from the Ocala Police Department. They always are drawn to this monument, having the eagle on top. Some friendships just can't be measured, but only treasured, as sometimes gestures can speak louder than words. Best. Best. Everyone's, Everyone's safe. safe. Active learner. Just ask a bright young man in the front row how he wrote the next chapter of history. A chapter that ends with courage. Have a bear-tastic day. Juan McWall, WUFT News.